What's up guys? So welcome back to floss tube number three. Um, yeah, this is a different angle. I feel like you guys are crooked, but I can't really tell. Um, yeah. Okay. So first I realize there's a lot of background stuff going on, but every time I record, I seem to always have to be waiting for a phone call. You guys are really high up, not on purpose. It just that's like as low as I can get my tripod with how high my new desk is unless I film over there but then the light is going to be behind me and it's going to create a lot of glare which I also did not want to do and I didn't want to be too far back because I had you guys behind the desk like where I normally film or have been filming I should say and it was too far and I couldn't zoom in because of the way I have to face my camera so I can see the screen so that being said, welcome back to Floss Tube number three. Um, so I don't have a whole lot of progress to show you guys because for one, it was over Thanksgiving break and I thought I was going to have a lot more time to stitch and I didn't. Um, I went to my mom's for thanks the week of Thanksgiving. I came back um, the day before Thanksgiving. I also spent a lot of time with my grandma. I took her with me to my mom's house and um, we basically did three Thanksgivings, one at my mom's, one at my dad's, and then one at my in-law's house. And I essentially didn't get any stitching done at all. Um, I forgot to bring over my progress spin. I am going to show you guys what I did do um, compared to my last video. I'm going to try to start getting my videos up a lot quicker. Floss tube number two, by the time I got that video up, it was like... I don't know, like two weeks old already at that point, maybe a little bit older, not on purpose. It just, um, Mindy and I are often planning our videos and then when we get to film them, um, it's usually like the day before it needs to go up or the day of or the night before. And so I push those in front of the floss tube videos and other videos. I don't have a dedicated day for floss tube. Mindy and I have been trying to keep um, the progress videos with the Josephine Wall collaborations to Tuesdays. It doesn't always happen that way. You guys know that. It took me almost three days to upload, um, well, like two days to upload the, uh, which video was it? I think it was the answer video to mine and Mindy's challenge, not challenge, but the would you rather questions. Oh my God. It was horrible. You guys. Uploaded it that night, didn't upload, uploaded it the next, well, it was still uploading when I woke up in the morning. Um, still no dice. Uploaded it all that day, still nothing until later on that evening. So it took a little over 24 hours because it wasn't even that night. I uploaded it like the day before during the day. I figured it would go all the way through the night. When I woke up in the morning, it was already pushing like over 12 hours. It was just a big mess way over 12 hours actually. So anyway, enough said about that. Um, floss tube three. So this is going to be really long lengthy haul because I've got a lot of stuff to show you guys from haul. So let me get my progress spin so I can show you guys progress on what I do have or at least the things that I did start and don't mind my background. Um, these are my boxes for mystical diamond art to ship and those are diamond paintings and yes, my shelf broke. I told my husband to fix it. He said he fixed it and then it fell down again. So I'm going to have to go get some, what are those? I need to sit up higher, um, dowels. So yeah, I'm going to have to go get some of those and fix it again. Okay. Uh, so, um, travel piece. This is the scenery one travel piece. I have linked this in other videos as well. Um, I'm going to try to remember to link it again. I should actually take notes to write these things down because I want to be able to link as much stuff as possible for you guys. So, <clears throat> all right, let's. Nada. So, 
Scenery one. Okay. So I don't have a whole lot of progress done on this one. Um, honestly, I thought about going, like putting where I was in the previous plus two video and then showing you guys where I am now currently when these are being filmed. But after thinking about it, I just figured, um, that's a lot of work. I think I might start doing that for future videos and I will take the screenshots when I edit the video because I do watch the video over to cut out anything. Um, but because I didn't do that for this one, it's going to be a lot to, to go back and watch, go through almost an hour of video to get it done. Uh, let me see what that was. Okay. Oh, what is this? What is that? Oh, important survey on team base. Okay. I thought it was a grade. This is like finals week. So, ah, okay. So scenery one, this is what it looks like. Can you see the whole thing? Oh yeah, definitely. So the only thing I got done was the brown. Um, I feel like the black is a little much for the tree, but when you look at the image of this, it is kind of like shadowy on the bottom. And so I don't know. I feel like the tree is like a moss covered tree. And then the brown's like actually the bark, if that makes any sense at all. Um, it looks okay. I just don't know how happy I am with it. There was a little bit more brown down here, which I feel like looks more normal. And then there's going to be a little bit more right here. And then down here, there's going to be some more as well. It's like the line right here is where the brown is going to be. And then I think... That is, no, there's a little bit more up here. It looks like just the one more area. And then I'll be done for that color. I actually also think I am done with one of the green colors as well, if I'm not mistaken. I can't remember. Maybe not. Mm, I don't know. I don't remember. But, yeah. So, that's it. That's pretty much all the progress on this. Again, this is my travel piece. This goes with me in the car. Um, so I'm going to put that back in there here in a bit. And then, let's see. Did not work on this. Okay, I did work on that. Uh, I don't know if I should show you guys. So I did also start um, the Joy Sunday Wolves, except I only did, like... I don't know, a handful of stitches because I just wanted to show my mom and my grandma um, are really into learning cross stitch. My grandma says that she used to do it years and years and years ago and she stopped and hasn't picked it back up. And so my mom was really interested in the kits and wanted to learn more about them. So this is one of the kits that I took with me over Thanksgiving break to show my mom because I knew she was going to love it. Um... I was going to give it to her, but it's a little too much for her as a starter piece. And she just didn't even want to go there. So I just wanted to show them how I use the stamped kits. So I hope you guys, oh yeah, you guys can see. So right here where the needle is, that is the area that I stitched. Um, just showing my mom and my grandma how to work on these pieces. This is a very large piece. Oh yeah, you, you guys can see the whole thing definitely. So even though it's a partial, um, it's, it's pretty overwhelming piece because it's so confetti heavy. Like you guys can clearly see that's very disrespectful confetti right there. And, um, th those were the only stitches that I put down on here again, just because I wanted to show them, um, how to work on a piece like this. Cause my grandma had never seen the kits come like this either. And neither had my mom. Um, so that was all I did on that and I do have it in my like to work on bin because I do want to work on it I just haven't had the time I've got about another week of school left and so I think I'm gonna try to finish all the work this week because um my husband's gonna be off next week and it's also my daughter's birthday is on Friday and we're having a double birthday party on the 14th 
because I have two daughters. One's birthday is on the 6th and one's on the 21st. So um, we normally have separate birthday parties, but because they both want to do like a whole classroom thing, we're going to do a double birthday party at Chuck E. Cheese. And I kind of just want to get everything out of the way. And then that leaves me like almost a full solid month of no school, no nothing so that I can just work on projects and you know, I'm not going to have as much time next semester because right now I have two days off a week and next semester, oh, actually, no, I have three days off a week this semester, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Next week, I'm only going to have Friday next week, next semester, only Friday. So kind of intimidates me a little bit because like, I don't. I'm nervous that I'm not going to be able to film enough videos for you guys, but that's another, I'll do another update video on that. Let's get back to the cross stitch. So we'll talk about that one in a second. Keeping with the, oh, I have a piece in the kitchen that I need to bring. Um, I don't think I showed this either. I, well, I showed this in a, um, a haul and I actually have worked on this. I tried doing a video on it like um, a how-to because I've gotten a lot of questions how to work on these kinds of kits, how to start, how to end, you know, simple basics on how to do the kits. And I started recording a video and I was just not happy with how it came out, what it looked like. There's just so many threads, just hold on. And so this is one of the silk thread kits and I did start on it. Um, but I haven't done anything with it since, uh, I am wanting to go to Hobby Lobby and get some, um, of that thread magic because I feel like that's really going to help with these stitches because the, the silk threads are so silky that they just slip on each other and it's very hard to keep them on the needle. Um, especially when you're coming to like the end. So, um, how can I, Okay. Let me fold this part down. So this is what I did. I have all this black. So the purple, the dark purple that you see here is all black. And I did get this much done. I don't know if you guys can make that out. Can you? Kind of. Because, yeah, the purple's kind of dark. But um, all of this right here I have stitched with the black. I figured I would start with the black until I'm essentially tired of it because there's so much of it that... Um, you know, just, I figured it'd be easier to just start there and then work some of the other colors later. Um, but these stitches now, I don't always a hundred percent lay my stitches down the exact same, like in a certain way. And so some of these aren't in the same and the silk threads make the stitches look so uniform. I'm absolutely loving it. I really, really want to order some more of these, but to be completely honest, there's just not that many images that they have that catch my eye. I don't know where they get these images from, but I have not seen them anywhere else in any other from any other company, which is a good thing, but they're, they're so, they're really different, um, the images. And so there's a couple that I wouldn't mind getting, but they match, I'm sorry for all the crinkling. They match, um, the blue long one that I, uh, showed in an unbagging with this. And I just feel like it's too much. And I, that piece is going to be so big that it's going to be hard to find a wall space to have all three pieces because they kind of coordinate with each other. Um, okay. That is it for like the kits. And then, so I haven't worked on that one. Which one's this? Have not worked on that one at all. Haven't worked on that. Okay. So now into a new start. I showed this as kind of like a new start in my last floss tube, but I didn't actually start it. I just prepped it. So this is the Witchy Stitcher uh, Stitch Along for the Chopping Mall. I did start it. Um, this is work, I'm working this on 16 count 
Ada from Picture This Plus that I got from Everything Cross Stitch. And it's in the color Shale. And it is kind of like a grayish purple color. Um, more of a neutral tone. This is what I have. I did travel this piece here. Um, uh, it's not 310. It's one of the other shades. I'll know it when I look at the, the chart, but I did travel this piece because it's still pretty long. I didn't want to cut it and, uh, struggling struggle bus. Uh, that's what I have on that. Um, almost the entire bottom, but not quite. And yeah, it's just the bottom. What is it? One, two, four rows or five rows. When I started counting, I wasn't looking at the middle. Like you see how here it goes down a little bit and then in the middle it goes down a little bit. Well, when I was doing the counting, I was only counting the black because I started here, here. So my stitches actually come down three rows further down than I wanted to because I think I calculated two inches all around but it's not that much that's as far down as it's gonna go it's actually gonna be when I get to this other side one two three five stitches and right now I'm three down so it's not gonna be bad but that's just that's what I have there so it's something it's a start I'm loving the way that it's coming out um Why am I always hearing stuff when I'm recording? Did you guys hear that? Nobody's here. My doors are locked. Oh, I swear. I don't know if you guys um, watched the whip and chat where I heard the noise in that video too. Oh, okay. So part of the reason why I haven't really stitched on this is because this Ada is so floppy because it is hand dyed Ada. So it's already washed and like, you know, soften up that it's difficult to stitch on it it's just not what I'm used to when you're doing like with the kits and when you're working on linen like I am with the Harry Potter one um it's easy to be keep it straight because it's so stiff and this is not so I was waiting for my um what are they the plastic snap frame <laughs> to come in um because I'm gonna put this on here so I have another one in the bin over there that this is gonna go on and when I put that in I will start working on this in a little bit more um she does have a new I don't think I'm gonna finish the frame um that's what the pattern of that looks like I don't think I'm gonna finish the whole entire thing by the time um she comes out with the first square because the first square comes out on Friday and I just don't see that happening. There's so many projects I want to stitch. Uh, I'm out of my mind. So the progress that I did was all of, can you see with the glare? All of the black in these bottom couple of rows. I think up to here is where I stopped because I ran out of one of the colors. I can't remember. So I just stopped there. So that's that. Um, let me go get my other project real quick. Am I recording? Okay. All right. So the next one that I have been working on, most of this I actually got done yesterday. I feel like I'm too, yeah, it's just too high. You guys are too high. Most of this I got done yesterday. Um, I think I showed, I showed this in my unbagging. Why? Okay. I showed this in my unbagging of the plastic snap frames. Um, why? Okay, that's extra. So this is the progress that I have in the Monopoly. So it goes this way is where it goes. This is the um, left hand side of the board where the oranges go. I think this is New York. Yep. This is New York Avenue right here and then the free parking. So it's directly diagonal across from the uh, go. So the go is going to be like in this bottom corner if I were to do it like just this small. So that's what that looks like. 
Um, this is parked here because I have to start um, some more down here, but I just went as far as I could finish a full box because I ran out of space. So I went there and then I'm going back and starting the orange and then this is a community chest. So yeah, super cute. Absolutely loving the way that this is coming out. This is hours of work, you guys. <laughs> How long it took me um, to do it. So the update on this, if you guys go back to the Floss 2, no, no, no. Um, the AliExpress 1111 first video with the unbagging of the plastic snap frames. Uh, it showed, I only had this square partially done. So I finished the car, did the back stitching for the, the letters, and then um, did the rest. So I'm going to bring it closer because this is actually my first back stitching of these letters. I have never done back stitching. Is it focused? Yeah. I've never done back stitching before. And that's my first attempt. So not too shabby, not the best, but to be completely honest, I'm pretty pumped up with it and I am very pleased. So super fun pattern. Um, I did include the links for this in the Floss Tube 2 video. Um, I'm gonna include them again down here. When I checked, um, I think that video went up, today's December 3rd, I think that video went up on December 2nd, um, his Etsy shop didn't have no items in it, and I could not get his blog to load, that doesn't mean that it, it's not there, or he took it down, I just couldn't get it to load, I don't know if I was having internet problems or what when I was doing it, I haven't checked since, so... I'm sorry, don't hold it against me. I'm gonna pick this up. I'm stupid. I hate these, you guys. I hate this. So, put that there. Okay, is that all the whips? Yeah, because I didn't work on anything else. So, that's it. Now we're gonna get into the haul part. I don't have any new starts other than the um, witchy stitcher thing because I didn't do anything else. So, I have quite a bit of haul. Lots of haul. Um, I will try to link what I can below for these. I was supposed to be taking notes, you guys, and I didn't. Bleh. Bleh, 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 bleh. You guys watch that movie? Um, what is it called? Hotel Transylvania, the cartoon with Adam Sandler. Uh, yeah. My kids love it. The Monopoly. We did the Monopoly, we did the Wolf, we did the Witchy Stitcher, oh, and then the Dragon. So I can include all the links for you guys. Okay, so then, let's see. So I placed an order with, I saw somebody talking about, what is going on? I saw somebody talk about this on one of the Facebook groups. I'm just writing this down so I can remember that this link also needs to go in the description. So I saw somebody talk about this in, I think, Cross Stitch Unlimited, and I went ahead and went to her Etsy shop. I think I ordered these on November 17th, because that was my father-in-law's birthday. Yes, and she shipped them the very next day. I ordered them that night. At least it was night here at Mountain Time, and it was nighttime. I ordered them. And um, they came pretty quickly. And let's see. Oh, it's from Hand Dyed by Ron, by Yolanda. I always say Rhonda. Hand Dyed by Yol Rolanda. Ugh. Rolanda. That's her name. Rolanda. Okay. So I got one pattern and then I got, is it three or four? I think it's three. Maybe it is four or five. How many? Wait, what? No, three pieces of Ada. So my phone's ringing. Deny. Okay. I just love the presentation of her pattern. So the first, well, the only pattern that I got was, um, it's called Jack O' Lantern Silhouette, and it's black work. I think is how you call this. Um, and. It says Charting Creations presents Jack O' Lantern Silhouette. And this is the um, picture that I got. I thought it was so fun and cute. Plus, it's all black. And 
yeah and I also got a fun piece of Ada to work on it and I'm going to show you guys that what I like also is that she gives a couple of different size references down here uh, for different counts of Ada and how big of a piece um, this is going to turn out to be so I like that I really like the presentation of the chart itself because the covers card stock and then the rest of it's printed on regular paper and then it has these um plastic um i don't know what these are called on the ends like the folder snaps or whatever they're called to hold them together like a brochure or something and then of course it's in the cello bag so super cute pretty impressed with that and then uh the rest of her stuff was packaged like this with the cute pumpkin on it uh, I'm assuming because I ordered the jack-o'-lantern thing that she put the pumpkin on here. So I'll probably just keep these in the bag just because I'm not going to be using them anytime soon. And then I think, if I'm not mistaken, you need it had a free shipping thing and I needed to order something else. So I picked out this piece of floss um, just to look at it. And I'm honestly considering ordering more of this it says i'm assuming this is a hand dyed floss this is eight yards in color number 62 and it is like a brown and like super dark purple and blue like deep 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 blue and deep brown colors i'll try to get close up right now but I ordered only one because I wanted to see, I thought of maybe stitching this with this thread. You guys can already see like a good, kicking something down there. There you go, that's perfect. Do you see that? And it does have like slight, don't mind my screwed up cuticles that I peeled off, slight like gray variations in there. And it's actually really gorgeous and I thought maybe if I liked the way that it came out that I would stitch the pumpkin on it. So maybe I might do that. And then the piece of fabric that I got for the pumpkin is also by her. So she hand dyes these all herself and I believe they came from Canada. This a... Oh, this says Niagara Falls, New York. But I think the Etsy shop says Canada on there. Um, so this is a piece of 18 count Ada in this gorgeous color. It does not have a name, um, but I will put her Etsy shop below, link it below. And it just, oh, it's freaking gorgeous. I thought about getting like a red color to stitch it on, but then I thought, you know what? This orange looks absolutely amazing and it's going to look good on there because it just is you know so this yeah this is the one that i got for that super gorgeous colors on here lots of shades of orange and then you can still see like some of the white so really love it this is um gonna look awesome for that pumpkin so that's what i got for the pumpkin then I got um, two more. I, I can't remember why I got this one. I think I just got it to get it. So this is a piece of 14 count Ada. And a smaller size is only a 13 by 18. So clearly a smaller project. Again, it does not have a name. So I'm just going to link her Etsy shop below. Because I don't think, I don't remember like if they're one of a kind pieces or if, there's like different shades of the same colors. I'm I'm not sure, but that's what this one looks like. It looks really cute. I think this would even look cute for like a winter um, scene. So this one has some blues, some purples, some greens. Super fun and cute. Love it. I can't remember how much they were, but honestly, they were super affordable because I'm the cheapest person on the planet and they were affordable. The last one that I got from her was, this is 18 count Ada, again in one of the larger sizes. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, this is like the second biggest size you can get from her. So it's pretty good size. Again, lots of blues and purples. And this I actually got to stitch a pattern that I'm going to show you guys. So that's what this, this is going to be the background for a Christmas pattern that I got. So that's what that looks like. 
gorgeous, gorgeous piece. And all of her Ada comes with a tag. So I really like that because I've ordered um, some from, I think it was Everything Cross Stitch. And one of them didn't have a tag on it. And the other ones had just like a sticker, which the sticker is completely fine because it's still labeled, but then it doesn't stick after a while. So I have to keep like sticking it back on the bag so I don't forget what I'm stitching on for reference. So yeah, there's that. I'm just going to put these back in the bag because I'm running out of room in my cross stitch bin. So we're just not going to talk about that. Um, I'm gonna actually take this out so I can show. Oh, I actually have two things. Oh, where did I put it? Okay, see if I don't bump you guys. Let me get a drink of my tea. Okay, so the next thing I got, um, I got these from the Cross Stitch D Stash on Facebook. I'll link that below too. And I think, yeah, so. I can't remember if they were a set or if they were individual. I'm not 100% sure, but what I really wanted was these. These NFL um, cross-stitch books. So these are from 1988. I was impressed by that, and my husband was impressed by that. He was like, what? Those are in such good shape, considering they're as old as you, because I was born in 88. So super pleased with these. Um... I actually have a video saved on my phone because I don't know how to stitch on a sweater like this and apparently there's something called waist canvas that you can use and I was watching Handwork Maniac and she talked about that and so she um, made a reference to one of her older videos and she um, explained how to do this. So I'm going to go watch that later today um, because my husband absolutely loves football and so do many other people in my family so I'm wanting to do these. So. It came with these ones where they're like um, the mascot in kind of like a baby version of the mascot. And then also um, this one that comes, I think it's the helmet. Some of them it's like the symbol like this and then some of them it's helmets. So this is going to be a super fun project. And yeah, I'm kind of, I'm really excited about it. So that's what those look like. Um, I don't even think you can buy these anymore. Um, I was impressed that these say officially licensed by the NFL down here in the corner because I've never seen them do that. And apparently in 1989, 1988, these were $5.75, which is a freaking lot um, for 1988. Jeez Louise. So Cross Stitch magazines apparently have always been expensive because now they cost like, 10 to 15 dollars sometimes 20 dollars at barnes and noble like what the, you know so there's that um then the same order i also got cross stitch christmas because i was looking for stocking patterns and i actually haven't even really gone through this i don't even know if there is a stocking pattern in here yeah there's a couple of things stitched on stockings but i I don't even know why I got this one. Again, I can't remember if they came together because I've had these sitting here for a couple of weeks. And um, I think I just wanted some more Christmas stuff to try to do. Like, look how cute this Noel is. Isn't that cute? So there's that. I don't even know what year this... 1994 is where it looks like this came out in. Yep, 1994. So there is that. That's what that looks like. Again, it's cute. Um, came with the bunch. I also got, I think I picked them out because, yeah. So there's a myth and fantasy one here. There's only um, this dragon that drew my eye to this. But I think, honestly, I think she was offering them for a dollar. So it wasn't like the worst thing to spend money on. Um, 1981. And really good condition. There's um, a handful of patterns in here. I don't know, maybe 10 or so. How many pages? 16. So maybe there's like 20 patterns in here. Because some of them are... Um, well, it doesn't start on page 1, right? Oh, no, maybe there's some more. Six, so yeah, 16. Probably 30 patterns. It doesn't say. It says book number 3 for... $3.50 and 81 so sounds like a lot of money to me. Okay, then I found, I 
thing yeah there's only one thing on here but it's just a leaflet so it's not you know like crazy so it's a red claws for celebrations by leisure arts apparently it was two dollars and fifty cents in 1989 and i got it for a buck so it holds its retail value pretty well considering i paid a dollar for it um <laughs> you know so it's just like a wide array of patterns and what caught my eye of course was the little witch down here with the pumpkins because it's so stinking cute Ugh, i can't help it and then um there's a christmas one there's an easter one and let's see what else a thanksgiving one on the back so that's super cute this is going to be something that i um, i'm going to try to do because i really want more like collective holiday things because i don't have like anything for thanksgiving and i think something like this would be nice to have out as a decoration so there's that i'm not gonna have any links for those i just got them from the d stash group i'll let me write down to link the D stash group because that's where I did get those. Okay. And then I purchased this from creativepoppy.com. And this is the Barbara Ann Designs Let It Snow Counted Cross Stitch Chart. So stinking cute. Can you guys see? There you go. Yeah. Oh. As soon as I saw it, I knew I had to have it because it's a pair of scissors and you've got other scissors dangling down from it and then you've got like a little village up here. It's just too cute to not have. So the design area on a 32 count natural linen from Zwegar is 11 by 6. This is what it looks like. It's 178 stitches by 95 stitches. I will not stitch this on a 32 count unless I want to go blind. So that and there's a cute little like up close picture of some of that there. And then on the bottom it says let it snow. Super freaking cute. Creativepoppy.com. So many cute patterns. I just printed this on um, cardstock and popped it into one of these protective sleeves that's gonna go on my pattern bin let's see okay so this i ordered from homespun sampler on etsy i will link her shop below have to write it down so I don't forget it's just easier for me that way okay so here's that um I ordered two designs from her and I would have included this in my first or in my second floss tube video but um she sent me the wrong pattern and so I had to wait for her to send me the new one and then I had to send her the other one back because it was the wrong one but she did include some free charts in there. There is this cute um, first snow. And it says compliments of the drawn thread from Lakeside. Li well, I don't know if that's where it's from. The drawn thread, I guess. So it's just this cute tree. So that's that. And then also home for the holidays is another um, free one because she just sent me two packages. So what I got from her was this sampler from the Prairie Schooler. It is harvest time. This caught my eye immediately because it's absolutely gorgeous. I love everything fall and Halloween. I've told you guys that many times. Um, so this is definitely something that is going to be stitched. And I'm honestly even thinking of stitching the turkey um, because I like it. And I love the leaves in the background. All three of these are in here and they're just so adorable. I love them. So... Um... This was copyright in 2001, um, and I don't know, I guess the way these work is, like, they get the rights to reproduce them, I guess, so, you know, is what it is. And then, so one of the companies that I have been obsessed with since I saw their kits is Praiseworthy Stitches. I have been stalking Praiseworthy Stitches charts from, what's the website, is it one, two, three stitch. I'm not sure. I'll have to check my computer right there because I have it bookmarked on there. But 
there's so many I want to get like all the Halloween ones on a big giant piece and stitch them like all together so it's like this huge scene if you guys haven't seen them check them out their charts are I just can't with how adorable their charts are so the one that I ordered was winter at Sugar Hill oh you guys look at how adorable this is that is what I got the blue Ada for because I absolutely love the way the blue looks in the background I think my blue Ada has like a little bit hints of green in it um but that's okay because it makes it look like a winter scene like this just makes it look like it's legit snowing and it is a freaking adorable so this is the design size is depending on what oh the stitch counts 307 by 193 so it's good size love it love the words at the bottom it says it's a winter wonderland they have more of these and they have some that have um like santa on top with his reindeer i do want to get at least one more one at least one more of those I just love it. And then there's more. <laughs> Let me make sure I'm good on time. Hold on. What time is it? Okay. Yeah. Perfect. So these ones I got from, where's my little list? Okay. So I'm just going to stick this on here from another Etsy shop. Um, so I can get rid of, well, I'm just going to put these back in here actually. So the next set of patterns I ordered from Jen's Stitching Niche, also on Etsy. We'll link her below because she has such cute ones. Um, I guess I only ordered two, yeah. So she has one from Plum Street Samplers and is the Adams Family. Oh, you guys, I just can't with this one. Look it. And I feel like they're standing on top of a cemetery sounds kind of gruesome this is I feel like this is more Halloween so it's the Adams family and it's not like you think it's actually um John and Abigail Adams and in the design they only two of their children are featured here but what I like about this is that on the back she talks about she says did you know it says John and Abigail Adams had six children Although only two are featured in this design, the young Abigail and her brother, the sixth president of the United States, John Quincy, John and Abigail's other children were Grace Susanna, Charles Thomas, and Elizabeth, who was stillborn. So Elizabeth died. Um, yeah, I just thought it was so cute. It's kind of Halloween-y because there are pumpkins down here and they are standing on what look like headstones right there, right? Not the nuts, but those gray things kind of like this one you know so that's really cute i really like it and then um she had this one from hands-on design i love how they all come in these bags and they're the thicker kind of bags so this is from hands-on design this is the jack-o-lantern junction farm and it is the chalk style of pattern and it looks like this so it is this part and then one of these is also included in here. Or yeah, this part here. So on the back, there's actually something else that says Jack-O-Lantern Junction Farm right here that I was hoping would be included in the kit, but it's not. It just, it says Jack-O-Lantern Junction Farm right here in a different kind of writing, but in either way, it's still so stinking cute. And what I loved about this is this isn't like a traditional Halloween colors. You've got all the pumpkins in different colors. There's blue and white and this looks so cute. The dog, again, different colored pumpkins here. Some ghosts. Super cute. I was even thinking of maybe tossing in some purple in here for some of the pumpkins. Um, and let's see. This is 100, 135 by 166 for um, the sampler, which is the big one. And then the sign is 128 by 65 and the small is 105 by 44. So that's what that looks like. Super fun and cute. Love it. Those are from Jen's Stitching Niche. And then, oh, I thought I didn't open this. So where did I get this from? This I got off of uh, Mercari. 
I'll leave a link from Mercari below. I think there's some kind of referral thing that you guys can do if you sign up under my link. Um, I'm not 100% sure, but I will check and insert that into this section here so you guys can check that out. But that's where I got this from. Let me throw that envelope away now. This is a meal, a meal hill kit, and it is a Nora Corbett design. And I'm not particularly fond of Nora Corbett designs just because it's just not my style. But this one, I couldn't resist. Um, the chart is a little messed up but it gives you the general idea of what it looks like um you can see like there was like something stuck to it or something um but it's not like sticky or anything i don't know what that was it's not like sticky or anything and this is what it looks like again another halloween pattern it's like a fairy witch holding a jack-o-lantern in her hand and then you got the moon in the corner I think this is going to look nice on, I'm, and I don't like this brown color that they use, but I think maybe like a purple color, a dark purple, maybe a blue of some sort. This is going to look nice on. You can't use black because there is a lot of black in this, but I absolutely love it. I don't remember how much I paid for it, to be completely honest, but it was really inexpensive because these are pricey, really inexpensive. And... Why does this keep coming in done? So, we're getting to the bottom of the pile, guys. I promise. Okay, this is also something I got on da -da 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 -da. Mercari. Same thing. I have been eyeing these fairies for so long. They do have them on Amazon, but they were over $30. And I don't like paying that much for a kit. It's a lot. Hell of a lot. Um, there is, I think... I don't know if there's all of these fairies, but this is the Fall Fairy from the Gold Collection. Brand new in the package. I'm sorry for the glare. It is in a pl hard plastic thing. And this is what it looks like. This is going to be difficult <laughs> to do. Um, it does come on this blue that you see in the back. That's the color of the Ada that comes with it. So like back here, I'm pretty sure that's not stitched. Not all of it because, yeah, it comes on a blue Ada. There's also a spring fairy. And I haven't seen a winter fairy, but I want to say I saw somewhere that had like a summer fairy, if I'm not mistaken. I don't recall. But I know on Amazon they have both of these kits right now. I think the last time I checked, they were about $35. This popped up on Mercari for $25, and I got it for $20 with shipping so not bad considering how much these go for and this one included the beads so that's how you know that it was not opened i know some people will like um replenish the kit and put the chart back in there but they're missing the beads or something like that so the original beads are still in here super excited for this because i really like this kit it's just very whimsical to me kind of magical type of feeling I fall is my absolute favorite time of year I think I say that in every video and I just love how the leaves are blowing around her and everything oh yeah one of my favorites so have that now do want to get the other one but I'm not in such a rush to get it but I feel like I'm gonna have to get it relatively soon because the thing with cross stitch is that stuff goes out of print so quickly that if you don't, I'm trying to get comfortable. If you don't get it, it's like you miss your opportunity and then you're screwed because it's gone. And then you're going to end up paying five times as much as it was before. And that's what I hate when things go out of print. So what can you do? Okay, so the last two things that I got. So I did subscribe to Just Cross Stitch Magazine because I was very curious about it for many different reasons. Mainly um, because I have seen some really cool stuff in this. Now you can get it from here where I'm at. I can only find it at Joann's. Um, for some reason Hobby Lobby doesn't carry magazines. At least mine doesn't. And at Barnes & Noble... They cost more for some reason. I feel like they get different ones with different barcodes to cost more on purpose because Primitive Stitcher or something, Primitive 
whatever punch needle thing, that magazine. I saw it at Barnes and Noble and it was like 15 bucks. And then I saw it at, um, Joann's and it was like $10. So I don't know. And then I saw it at my Walmart a couple days ago. So it just, it hit and miss with Walmart. Uh, they mostly carry quilting magazines though. And so I could never find the just cross stitch. So I went ahead and subscribed to it. I paid $21 for a whole year, which I think it comes out every other month if I'm not mistaken. So six catalogs, which isn't bad because they're $7 plus tax a piece. If you buy them at the store, at least according to the barcode here. So it does have some really cool stuff on here that I would like to try to stitch someday. Um, yeah, I'd really like to do a table runner at some point and some of the Christmas designs in here you could essentially put them on a table runner. Um, it's not one of those things where you like love every piece, but you know, it just it's nice. They have contests in here that you can enter and yeah there's also like you get introduced to new designers and things like that i also loved at the back of the book it has um let's see hold on they have product reviews but they also have like a reference chart for stitches so it tells you how to do a whole bunch of different stitches and i thought that that was really unique not a lot of places do that um yeah, so I, I thought that was really cool. And then, let's see, you get a brief overview of everything that's in the catalog in the back. And then, I don't know why, but they always have it, um, this is the same, no. So this one's Mill Hill on the back, but some of the other ones have a different, oh, I can't remember what it is, but they have such cute designs on the back of the magazines all the time like this these animal ones here in the middle are adorable and so is the reindeer so those are super cute too so i did I, I sub bleh, subscribe to that what i like about the just cross stitch not only is it super affordable but you can um you get access to the previous two years of just cross stitch magazines digitally so you can go in look at all of the haul even the holiday ones around there you can look at all the holiday ones and print out any patterns that you want for up to two years back so i'm assuming you know every month or whatever the oldest ones get pushed out to make room for the new ones but still it's an amazing deal it's very um what's the word i'm looking for like worth your money there's a word for that can't remember but yeah, then while I was at, uh, da, 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 what's that store? Joann's one day, several, several weeks ago, I went ahead and picked up this book called Ultimate Cross Stitch. I really wanted to get a book that day because they had so many. And then what sucks about most of these is that they come in a plastic thing and you have absolutely no idea what's inside them. It'll give you a brief thing of like, four or five patterns on the front and then it says something crazy like 200 charts inside of here and then you're like but what are they like what if I don't like them so you know this one didn't come like that it came open so I could look at it and it just happened to be one of the ones I enjoyed most of the charts out of apparently I paid $16.99 for this what the hell was I thinking that's a freaking lot Gosh, but anyway, one of the things I loved was this elf stocking right here. Super cute. And then there's so many cute ones in here. I love the little snowman house here. Really cute there. And then there's another one up here that's super that snowman there. So it has lots and lots of patterns in here. Like so many on here or in here, I should say. Like pretty much every page is a new pattern. And... Let's see, how big is this one? Is there two pages of it? Then you, you've got this Santa one with some reindeer. Super fun. They're not all Christmas, I don't think. All of the ones in here, maybe they are. Well, that's the whole point, right? It's Christmas catalog. So this is definitely a catalog that I'm going to keep my eye on uh, coming into the new year. Hopefully, they'll come out with another one that we'll see. And I'm really... Um, looking forward to the Halloween one. So hopefully, I don't know if this comes out every month, 
or when it comes out it doesn't say and I didn't read anywhere where it says um, how often it comes out it's gonna be something I look up but yeah I got that as well so that sits on my shelf I'm gonna have to find like a magazine thing for those because these don't stand up very well on the shelf this one does because it's super thick and it has a really firm binding so super cute yes sorry but yeah you guys that's it this video is almost a freaking hour uh, I don't know why I make such long videos so we'll see how much of this I have to edit out I don't think this usually in the last few videos is not a whole lot of editing so yeah you guys um, I think I'm going to stop this video here I have a because of YouTube purchase that I'm gonna record it after this shouldn't be very long less probably 10 minutes or so but yeah that's it that's all I have for now I hope you guys enjoy that was super long I think more than half this video is the haul um, but I didn't get a whole lot of stitching done in the past two weeks. I have not got essentially almost any stitching done because I've just been so busy. Um, but yeah, you guys, so I will have all of this stuff linked below. If you guys have any questions, uh, let me know. I'm just looking at more of these. Oh, the dog with all the ornaments. Look at this gingerbread house. Isn't that amazing? That looks cute. Lots of work. Yeah. But anyway, if you guys have any questions, please comment below. I do want to at some point do like a mini tutorial of the basic things. I've been getting a lot of questions. I think I said that already on how to do cross stitch and how to start, how to end, all that kind of thing. So at some point I do want to do some kind of video like that. I just haven't had the time to record it so hopefully soon I want to try to get like five videos right now put together because my husband will be here next week from Tuesday to Sunday and I need at least to upload two videos in that time so I need not and today's only Monday, Tuesday so I still need the videos for the rest of this week so hopefully we get it done but yeah you guys I hope you enjoyed this video super rambly really long and yeah, any relative links will be below. Um, I'll include my Instagram below because I try to update it. It's a mix of personal business and like hobby. Um, more just stuff I do in general. It's not particularly related to any one thing. So follow me there. I'll try to remember to put that. Let me write that down because I will forget. I will forget. So yeah, you guys. All right. I need to go so I can record more videos and get this edited as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I will catch you guys in the next.